Today was a remarkable day for the relationship between the Jewish and the Latino communities in Los Angeles. For over a year, we have been planning this summit of leaders of both communities to gather here today to talk about our common history, our shared values, and our shared future. As one of the speakers said this morning, we are going into an era of our first time ever post first Latino mayor. And what does that bring? And how do we work together as, as communities? We came together to denounce xenophobia and bigotry of all kinds, to speak out against vitriolic rhetoric aimed at immigrants, at Israel, and all of the diaspora communities, to empower the Latino and Jewish communities to work together towards a more just society. The event was organized by the American Jewish Committee, the Anti-Defamation League, the National Council of La Raza, and the New America Alliance. And we have prepared a joint statement that is being released at this very moment about the points of view and, and the discussion that took place today. I think it's safe to say that we agreed in some form or another to stand up consistently and dependently to denounce anti-Semitism, anti-Latino sentiment, xenophobia, and bigotry, to speak out against the worldwide campaign to delegitimize Israel, which can both reflect and give rise to anti-Semitic notions, to stand together to face and prevent vitriolic rhetoric in the political arena and media, such as ethnic stereotypes and anti-immigrant sentiment, which can lead to threats and violence in our community, to empower the Latino community to achieve fair representation in electoral politics, in business, in media, and to work towards the betterment of our community as a whole through continued and open dialogue. When we started planning it and it started just falling into place, we realized there was a hunger for it, there was a need for it, and, and even though we sort of know what each of our issues are, we were still surprised. There were still things that came out today that surprised us and delighted us and engaged us, and we, we talked and we argued and we, you know, laughed and we had a lot of um, real heart-to-heart -heart conversation. We had a, an extraordinary opportunity today to get to know each other and to build personal relationships. And it's that foundation that is truly going to bring our communities together, bring us into a position where we can act together for social justice, to protect those who have been victimized, to promote values that strengthen our country and that strengthen our position in the world. We both have communities that are in tremendous diaspora, who have spread all over the world, and we feel for them. We understand how people have been victimized. We share a tremendous amount of history and values, and we look to build a future that is based on human values of acceptance, tolerance, and of embracing our differences by celebrating them, and by embracing and celebrating our basic human existence. Personally, and for the New America Alliance, I'm very thankful for the leadership and the hard work of those that have organized this event and who have brought us together. It is the sharing of bread and the spending of time together that makes a difference. And I, for one, am very grateful for it. Thank you. I'm grateful to have this opportunity to speak to you because my agency seeks to uh, secure a, a Jewish future in a more just world. We believe that each of those pursuits is dependent on one another. And in order for the Jewish community to be able to seek out justice and to secure our future, we need partners. We need to be in relationship. We need to be in dialogue with other communities. And the, the dialogue, the relationships that we further today at this summit are of paramount importance. The Jewish community in Los Angeles, the Latino community in Los Angeles, indeed as Angelinos and as Americans, share so much in common. And we learned even more about that today. We recommitted ourselves to promoting the interests of our community, which are the interests of all Americans. 
to not only to combat bigotry, not only to combat xenophobia and the hatred that exists in our in our society and the discrimination that exists in our in our society and prejudice, but to seek a better future, to work together to, to realize the best in all of our communities, to draw upon the significant cultural and historical values that we share to build a multicultural society wherein everyone is valued for the ways that they can contribute. One of the requirements was that it would be uh, the first of its kind in terms of engaging leadership across communities and co-hosting and developing the agenda together. But certainly a requirement was that this would be only the beginning to continuing a strong partnership. And in the future, expect to see more of this. Uh, there's a vision from you know to actually perhaps in the future to focus our conversation on certain issues of uh, relevance and priority uh, discussed today. So, uh, you know, we're here for the long haul and uh, it will certainly uh, appreciate the support from both communities and we'll continue to engage together and look for solutions and results that improve life for all in Los Angeles. I represent the state of Israel, which is a country that is highly diverse with people from over 120 countries. And this diversity is a value that we share with communities here uh, and the institutions that we've put into place uh, in absorbing immigrants, in helping Jewish communities around the world feel united and share resources in terms of heritage, the next generation, language, culture, uh, are, are values that we share very deeply with the communities here, the Latino communities here, and I see the, the effect on both both of our communities when we meet, whether we do it here or when we do it in Israel, because there's so much that we have uh, to share in common. It all begins locally, whether it's the work that we've done most recently in Boyle Heights and will continue to do, uh, or the conversations that we've had today in terms of our shared values, our shared concerns, and the resources that we can bring together to strengthen our communities, uh, both at home and overseas. We should embrace diversity and find pragmatic solutions to the problems of mankind. Thank you very, very much.